Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we wrestle with what nature is. The only thing we have learned so far is that if we appreciate what is around us, then we have a better opportunity to see what nature really is. This is the southern border of the farm, the highest part. This is a flattish area, very hard in summer, very dry. And we have learned that should we plant a bigger variety of plants, the different types of roots, that is what really changes the soil and makes it more fertile. It's not really about what is above the ground, but it's about what is under the ground. Here we have oats and rye. And then more oats and rye. Here we have broad beans. And here we have a lot of daikon radishes. Over there we have Palovnias and Vetiver. So let's see what happens when we have a wide variety of root systems in this soil. Here on the northern border we have the lowest part of the land. And this is where I have swales. I have various kinds of swales. This one was dug with the excavator starting there and then facing the street and then walk, working backwards that is one system it is not too wide and it's not too deep just enough to hold water and also to create more soil to plant some trees this is the lowest part of the land. Here I have much bigger swells. The excavator doesn't move into that direction, but diagonally 90 degrees with the direction of this swell. Therefore it's bigger and it can hold more water. The reason I make big swales low on the property 
is because we don't get water that often. The beginning of the season in October, we usually get a lot of rain in one day. Everything floods. And that's more or less it. The rest of the time it's softer rain. So when the water does come down, I want to collect it. When the swell is much higher, I cannot collect water. Here at least is a runoff and the soil is a high clay content and the water stays here. So the swales are low because this is where the water is. I want them full of water, perhaps four or five times a year if possible. And higher up, I don't have that opportunity. Also, this is where I will plant my fruit trees and they need water and this is a good way I have discovered to assist me in irrigation projects is to have water in the swales. This is the swale just higher from the one before. It is here now for more than a year and even during the tremendous amount of water we got in one day it filled up beautifully but it never has never overflown so uh, the idea is to capture what I can and somehow it's more like a, a reservoir a dam still some water in there clay soil And some frogs. There's no rain forecasted for the rest of November. So we will have to see what we how we can accumulate and keep the water on the land. Beautiful project. Till next time, goodbye.